Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you today. This one's from a company by the name of Icy Breeze. If you're not familiar with Icy Breeze, you definitely want to check this video out because these guys offer something that nobody else is offering right now. And that is a cooler to store your drinks in, plus a portable air conditioner, all built into one unit. It's pretty neat. Uh, I've had the version 2 model here on the right for about almost a year now. And you know the thing just works flawless i gotta say and they just come out with a new model here on the left that's called the platinum and i just wanted to show you how they work and the differences between the two and you know just run you through it real quick now first things first you'll notice on the outside that the uh, platinum has this new line right here on the outside body of it, it kind of modernizes it a little bit where the one here on the right the version 2 is just kind of smooth and, and looks kind of sort of plain Jane to me and uh, you know up close you can see that they've got the snowflake there up top and the icy breeze and snowflake there on the bottom and then you know here on the version 2 it's just got the uh, the icy breeze with the snowflake there in the middle and as far as is you know just the outer shell they still share a lot of the same similarities like the tops are are pretty much the same the wheels and all that so you know you can see that you've still got the uh, big grab handle to grab onto and still got the big wheels and you know it works they both work the same for the most part and then on this side you've got the the drag handle and you know if you've never used one of these it's it's a really heavy duty handle. It's got a bunch of plastic ribs in the bottom of it to reinforce it to make sure it's really strong and and uh, all that. And then right here on the bottom, it's got a one piece drain plug. So, you know, you're not gonna lose it when you open it up. You ain't got two pieces. It's all just connected as one. You know, the cooler's really not that heavy. It's just under like 20 pounds. And, but by the time you add, you know, 30, 30, to 33 pounds of ice to it then you know it can get pretty heavy but you know the wheels have held up and they're still strong and hadn't had any problems out of, uh, of the cooler at all so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and show you just how the icy breeze cooler works for you people that's never seen seen it before and i'll show you on the version too because uh it's pretty much the the same and all right now that i've got it opened up you can see inside uh there is a line right in here and what you do is you put about two and a half quarts of water till it comes up to that line and then once it reaches that line then you have a pump here in the bottom and what this pump does is take and it picks up cold ice water out of the bottom of the cooler because you're going to have ice in here and the water is going to be in here it's going to pick up that cold ice water and there's a uh, an electric pump behind this cover here it's just uh, to protect it you know it's going to take and pump that water up through this heat exchanger right here and if you're not familiar with a heat exchanger it's just pretty much a fancy word for a radiator like in your car you know it's going to take and pump that cold ice water through there and those cooling fins on that heat exchanger have a lot of surface area and you know with a lot of surface area means that you can get a lot of cooling effect out of such a small space. I don't know if you can see inside past that little uh, honeycomb grate on the outside, but you can see all the little fins on the inside. And that's what I'm talking about, the heat exchanger. And on the other side of that heat exchanger uh, is a fan. So that heat exchanger is going to get freezing cold. And then that fan that's on the up underneath here is going to take that air and it's going to blow it out through this tube right here it's going to come out right here and this is pretty much just like a vent in your car you can turn it around a bunch of different ways you can close it off you can open it just a little bit or let's say you've got the cooler on the ground and you want to take and stick it up underneath the front of your shirt and cool off well what you do is just disconnect it right here and then you've got a expandable hose and it expands out and you can take and stick that right up underneath your shirt just like that and with it turned on man i'll tell you it feels good so you know it really does work this product you know when i i first seen it i thought yeah right that's gonna be one of those products that it's gonna break it ain't gonna be you know worth a flip and i got it home and and i've used it and it just works um 
It's not a piece of junk at all. It It's actually made in America. It is a, a really well-made cooler and it even has a lifetime warranty if it was a piece of junk they wouldn't stand behind it with a lifetime warranty because they would be getting hounded every day i'm sure you're wondering well how do you power this thing well they have different options you can use a uh, battery power and they have a, a lithium ion battery works pretty much just like a, a power tool battery you know it's got a little indicator right here on the end, it tells you how much of a charge that it has, and they've got different size batteries. You can see right there, it's a 12 volt, six amp an hour, but they offer it in a, a 10 amp an hour. So uh, you can get an extended runtime. Now with the six amp an hour, uh, you can get four hours on low and two and a half hours on high. You know, if you're wondering uh, what that means, uh, it's referring to uh, the fan speed and, you know, uh, the pump. Uh, being turned on and the pump is the one that is going to be circulating the water throughout the cooler also they have an adapter where you can take and plug it into here and the other end of the adapter plugs into your cigarette lighter in your vehicle and so i have one of those adapters right here you can see it's just like what i said you plug it in right here and then you plug that into your cigarette lighter in your car or if you have a solar generator you can plug it in there or um me myself i take and i've got one of these little fancy battery jump starters that i keep in my car and if i want to uh, run the uh, icy breeze cooler with it then you just plug it in then you just take and turn it on and then now i'm gonna disconnect the battery just to show you what i'm talking about now you're running battery free you can see it powers right on and now we're on low and instantly you can, you can hear the fan kick on and and uh, it's already generating cold air let me open the vent here on the side and i'll do a little testing for you now while this thing runs a minute i'm gonna go ahead and tell you they also make another adapter that plugs in just like this but then it plugs in to your wall you know in your house you know it's like a 110 outlet plug and so you know they give you plenty of options to power this thing like i said you can use a, a, a battery you can use the cigarette lighter or you can use the uh the 110 uh, household power now i put about 30 pounds of ice in here yesterday and so um i'm just you know going to use it as is and you can see what a big chunk of ice there is still left and so i'm going to take and i'm going to close it up and i'm going to test it here with an infrared thermometer and you can see that you know it's blowing out air that's dropping in temperature it's because i had the lid open but it's like 80 something degrees outside it's cloudy today so it's not real real bad but you know look at that it's blowing out 42 degree air and you know it's an 80 degree day so that's pretty amazing so the difference between the the version 2 model and the platinum model is mostly in the control panel and what i mean by that is right here on the version 2 model uh, the way that you adjust the fan speed is right in here it's got a little toggle wheel that when you push it all the way up that it's set to the off position when you pull it down it goes to low then the medium and then the high so that's how you adjust the fan speed it has an, a plug right here where you can plug in uh, a wired remote control so you're going to have a cord coming off of this and you can adjust the speed so the new platinum does not have the wired controller on the version 2 it has a power port like i showed you and that's the same on the platinum so you can power it different ways like i said but one of the main things that the platinum has that the version 2 doesn't have is the ability to charge a phone so it's it's got a usb port right here and you can charge your your devices that way and then also it has pretty much a new mode and what i mean by that is i said a while ago that you could get uh, up to four hours on low with a six amp an hour battery and two and a half hours on high but now on the platinum they offer this different mode where you can take and it will turn the pump off that circulates the ice cold water up through the cooler 
and it just takes and uh, turns that pump off and it, you're basically you're just leaving the fan on so it's taking the cold air from the the ice and just blowing it out with the fan and by turning that pump off that gives you more battery life now i'm not sure how much more battery life it's going to give you i've not sat here for two or three days and tested and tried to be so scientific with it but it does extend the battery life because you're not running that pump now with that being said it's not going to blow out as cold of air as if the pump was on so keep that in mind but the air is still going to be plenty enough cold trust me um, now the way that you turn that that pump off is you can see right now that it's on extreme cool mode and it's on low you can adjust it to a medium or and you can hear it it takes a pause and then the fan ramps back up but you can you can hear it and then you can jump it up to, to high if you want and you'll notice even on high uh, it's not loud you can talk uh, right next to it and it's pretty much equivalent to your car's air conditioner being on high but the, what I was talking about is if you want to take it and turn it off of extreme cool mode that turns the pump off it disconnects it and so now you're just blowing the cold air out with a fan and I'm gonna show you some testing now I have been running it with a pump so we'll give it a couple minutes and I'll come back and uh, after it's run a couple minutes so it'll be a fair test so you'll you'll know just what kind of temperatures to expect with the pump off all right I'm back I waited a couple minutes and I'm gonna do some testing and the pump is off and the unit is set to medium yeah now you can see that it's on medium there and let's see see how cold the air is well, it looks like it's about 45 44 just really depends on where you point the thermometer 43 so even without the uh, ice water circulating through the uh, heat exchanger the air is still going to be nice and cold and you know it's I mean on an 80 90 degree day that's pretty amazing so now if you like I said if you want to kick it up and make it even colder hit that extreme cool mode and watch the temperatures drop once that water starts circulating through that heat exchanger with that pump so you can see right there and I'm not editing the video right here. Let me get a better grip on my camera here. My hand was getting a little wobbly. <laughs> but you can see right there. 41. 40. 39. 38. So you automatically can see that when you kick that that uh, pump on, that you know your temperatures are just going to go down even further. All right, so I showed you guys how the cooler works, and you know I showed you the difference between the version two and the platinum. And you know in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how uh, some of the accessories works. I've got uh, the splitters, and then I've got the little ice blocks that go down on the inside of the cooler. So. If, you don't want to use uh, ice you can put the, the frozen blocks in there that they offer uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell and that way you'll get to see my future videos I'll try to make some more videos on some of the accessories and in the next uh, couple days so stay tuned for those videos and uh, thanks for watching guys